Mark, welcome to Huddersfield Town. Thank you for joining us uh, late in the evening here. We're delighted to have you here. Um, what was it about Huddersfield Town and, and this opportunity to become head coach at this club that appealed to you? What made this the right club? Because you've, you've clearly had interest at other clubs in the past. Um, of course, it's been an interesting period since we've come back from Hertha BSC, Hertha Berlin out in Berlin, you know. Um, there's been a lot of speculation regarding Michelle going out to the Bundesliga and of course when the initial contact was made from my representatives um, to Lee Bromby at the club, then there was a real excitement there because of course we know that um, Huddersfield's got identification with the German way, the way they played under Wagner and stuff. And uh, we just felt like it was a good fit for me and we all know um, what a good league it is, the championship, and we know that there's great rewards to go to the the, the place we all want to go, and that's the Premiership, you know. Once that first contact had been made, you've obviously subsequently met Lee Bromby and Dean Hoyle as well. We weren't expected to give you every detail of those conversations, but how did that go? How did that help aid your decision? Listen, it's great, you know, like when you look at Lee, it's very much similar to what I've been used to in Germany because I'm coming from a background where uh, you have a very much a staff underneath the football staff and Lee drives that and he brings the important messages into the club which the chairman has given him uh, a lot of confidence to do and he deserves that confidence because he's a very forward thinking guy and uh, I'm really looking forward to working with him and uh, obviously showing everybody at the club what I could bring to the table. I want to learn a little bit more about you, Mark, and your career path. Obviously, people can read about that on our website now as well. But um, you're known probably best on these shores from your playing days with the likes of Fulham and with Norwich. But your coaching path has been largely in Germany. Uh, what was it about football in that country that really appealed to you? Because it seemed to be ignited at 19 when you went to Freiburg as a player. Yeah, of course. Like What you'll notice from me in this period is I never really talked too much about what I did as a player because I feel like it was unfinished business for us, you know. Um, but what you will see is that um, I had a lot of experiences in different countries, so I gained a lot by learning about different cultures and how to work in with uh, these types of players, you know. So it was very important for my development, um, especially now as a coach. Um, but when I went to Freiburg and I worked under Volker Finke there, I just fell in love with German football, you know. But I made, my, I made a deal with myself as a young coach that I pretty much wanted to work in the Bundesliga, which I've now done. And also the second deal I made with myself is that I wanted to work in the Premiership. And this has given me a great platform and our good group that we've got here with a mixture of experienced players and young players to go there, you know. We've got to be careful that we're not going too ahead of ourselves, but we also know that there was a hangover from last season and the disappointment of uh, dealing with the loss in the playoff final. What I would say is that if we go to playoffs this season, this will be my fifth consecutive playoffs in five consecutive years. So it's something that I very much enjoy. I very much enjoy working in an environment where there is pressure there. And I've been used to that. And you all know that I was a young lad that was brought up and developed at Glasgow Celtic. And at Celtic, it's just pressure week in, week out. So I want to be able to relate to these young lads and let them understand and know exactly what you're going through. Um, and bring very much a German mentality to English football at this level, but with my Scottish personality. Just going back to what you said there about falling in love with German football, I know you don't want to linger on your playing days for obvious reasons, yeah. but when was it that you first decided that coaching was the path that you wanted to go down? Was it as early as your early 20s? Or? Yeah, listen, what happens when you go to the Bundesliga as a young lad is that you start to learn about systems and, and all these things that's been brought into the game of recent. We had an environment at, Frank, at Freiburg where they were pretty much doing that 14 years ago. So all this new stuff that we talk about, I was already in that environment. And what I loved about the environment was that they gave young players a chance. And this is what we want to be about at the club. We want to give good young players the chance. We want to see that they've got a real hunger and that what I always talk about is that they play with fire in their belly but they're cool in their head. Um, and I think we've got a lot of guys here that come into that bracket and it's going to be a case of me just going and enjoying daily working with these guys. 
you talked about the, the calibre of people that you've worked with in Germany as well. I mean, some fantastic names, some big, big names in, in German football and world football. Felix Magath, obviously a two-time German coach of the year. Uh, Thomas Aral, I know you've worked heavily with a few clubs. Michael Henker, as a sporting director, but as a coach with Otmar Hitzfeld, is one of the best. Yeah. You must have taken so much from being close to these guys that, that it's a fantastic opportunity for a young coach, isn't it? Listen, we know what these guys are like. They're just serial winners, you know. So to be involved with them and to have the situation where they've gave me full responsibility to work with their team and implement my ideas along with their guidance, it was great. But we're under no illusions. We have to win games. And that's very much the culture that I've been at with these people. These are people that have been at Bayern, who have won the league, who have won the Champions League. The boss, Maga, has took a team like Wolfsburg, who is probably similar to Huddersfield winning the Premiership, you know, with all respect. And um, I've been around these guys for the past six years. I'm very privileged to be around them. But what I would say is that I'm very clear on what I am as a guy and what I will bring to this club. Um, it's about me now and what I bring to this team. Um, I want to bring a real clarity to how we play so that the guys are absolutely under no uncertain uh, terms about what I demand from them. I want the people of the city to be able to identify with uh, this team. I mean, I, I, I know what the club's about. We're called the Terriers for a reason, you know. So I want them to see a real passion and effort and a real endeavour shown by these players. Um, and it's my responsibility to get that from them. And it's a big responsibility too, but you've shown, you know, you've worked with some, again, you've worked with big coaches, you've worked with big players as well. So last season, Stefan Jovetic, Dedrick Boyata, Kevin Prince Boateng, they've been right at the top level of their profession. So that's a big part of it too, isn't it? Coaching on the pitch, but also man management is a huge thing. How much are you looking forward to getting to know our players? Listen, I'm really looking forward to getting to know this group. I know from looking from the outset that it's a good mixture of experienced players and young players. Um, and what I liked about the weekend as well was that they had a real team spirit about the group, not just the players, but the whole staff. Um, I'm very much a guy that likes to play offensive uh, football and I like to have creativity there in the last third, but I will bring this stability into the team that we've got a strong base to play from and we'll have a big, strong security behind the ball at times as well. Um, and as I said, the most important and the fun part for me is to be on this training ground uh, working with these guys. What I will make clear is that I'm not here to be these players' friend. I'm here to win games, and they're going to realise that. And this is what has gave me a chance to be working at the big clubs in Germany. Hertha Berlin's a club that gets 68,000 fans every week in the stadium. And uh, I was so proud and privileged to work in there with a sport director like Freddy Bobic, who's for me the best sport director in world football. There's no question about that. And I talked to Freddie a lot about this chance that I've uh, become now. And he's so positive with me and said, Mark, listen, put your effort into it, put your personality and put your stamp on the group. And I'm sure that you'll be successful. And what I feel with this club is that there's no excuses. So everybody's on the same page. It's fully staffed and everybody's working towards one goal. And I've shown that as well the way I've come in the door because I want to come in as my own guy. I'm not here as a young manager who's demanding six, seven coaches and physios and all that. I just want to come in, assess the staff, work alongside them and make them feel good about what they're doing on a daily basis. Excellent. We talked briefly there about the, the base and, and you talked briefly about the Cardiff game. Um, we obviously came, you came to that game. I don't think people will know that, obviously, but you witnessed that game in person. You, you witnessed, a, a, despite a difficult start, a really positive end before the international break. You also got a taste of what it can be like if everyone's galvanised in the right direction. So the fans were excellent that day. They really backed the team. We scored early. It was a positive afternoon. That must have whet your appetite for what is possible if you get everything pointing in the right direction at this club. Yeah, of course. I mean, I have to compliment the staff and the players how they went about their business there at the weekend and it just got me excited, you know. Young, dynamic players in the team and a, and a good group of experienced ones as well that are very focused on what they want to do. And you see yourself when you've got that stadium behind you. It's an exciting place to be. And we know what Yorkshire people are like. They're working class people. I'm a Scottish guy and my father's got a scaffolding business and it's all about hard work, it's all about putting that work ethic into things to be successful. 
So this is what I want to bring into Huddersfield town. You know the Championship well, Mark. You played in it in, in two separate occasions. Obviously, it's full throttle games all the time. The World Cup has, has made that even more so this year. So you're coming into a situation we've got Reading away Saturday, Luton away Tuesday. You're right into the thick of it. I suppose you wouldn't have it any other way. No, you wouldn't, you know. And this is something that I need to make clear to you as well. Is that's why I went to Germany to do my apprenticeship because I wanted to learn very much about the leagues and the volume of games to play. And we had this uh, period at uh, Ingolstadt when it was the COVID period. And it was relentless, we were playing games back to back, but we really enjoyed it as a group because we knew that it was a test and it was a big challenge and we actually become like a family together. And this is the kind of environment I want to create here. To be honest with you, it's already here. It's just about going in there and tweaking it in the right direction. And you know what it's like, guys. When you've got a winning team out there, there's no better feeling. The city is buzzing, the people are feeling good about their team and they're really proud to go there every week and watch what's on show. Absolutely. Well, Matt, we're all thrilled you're here, excited to get going under your leadership. Thanks for joining us and the very best of luck as head coach of Odysseal Town. Thank you very much. Add it up.